Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range with heavy metal, and this video, I'm here to tell you, has been requested a bazillion times. My email, my inbox on Instagram and everywhere has been full of, hey, you need to do the seven millimeter rim mag first the 300 win mag in the how many milk jugs so that's exactly what we're going to do we got the same ammo if you go to walmart this is what they're going to have this is the winchester super x powerpoint 300 win mag it's 180 grain round and then same thing if you go to walmart that's what they're going to have for seven millimeter rim mag 150 grain powerpoint bullet so same bullets 300 wind mag versus seven millimeter remington mag and i'm shooting them out of the exact same rifles which is some remington 770s so same barrel length and everything there both of these exact same rifles but i'm gonna shoot the seven millimeter first then the 300 let's see what happens let's hope and pray that it only takes us one shot each we're running short on milk jugs today Let's go shoot the seven millimeter. All right, first, the seven millimeter Remington Magnum. Let's try to shoot this sucker dead center. Oh, one shot. I think it looked pretty good. See what happened. All right, shot looks center to me. Let's see if we caught that bullet. Normally, we catch these power points. They're pretty good bullets. They don't explode or whatever. So we had seven jugs up there, I think. And how many are left? One, two, three, four. So one's gone. This one has a hole in the front and a dent from the back but no hole so i think oh yeah we got a bullet down in there check that out we caught it not gonna have to water the grass here for a while and there is that seven millimeter remington magnum you can see it still has quite a bit of lead on it and yeah, let's go grab that 300 wind mag and see if we can catch the 300 wind mag. That one took, caught it in the fourth jug. All right, now here goes the 300 wind mag. Don't need to load a ladybug. And let's see what happens. 300 wind mag. Oh! Still it in one shot again. I don't need 18 power zoom. Like that one had a little bit better water explosion. It did. Huh. Let's go see if we caught the bullet. I don't know if it was a straight enough shot, but it had a lot of energy. Seven jugs again on this one. Hopefully we caught it. I don't think we did, judging by what's left here. Two gone. And then nope. I think it came out of the back of this third one. Yep, we got some metal shards, but no bullet. It came out of the back of this one, so I'll shoot this one again real quick. Let's try the 300 wind mag one more time. Get a little bit straighter shot on it. Ugh. I can't believe that one came out the side. Huh. I don't know what happened. Let's see if we can find it. That one appeared to be center, but it's not looking like we caught the bullet from back here. Let's see what happened. So, similar story. Two exploded. And then the third one. Oh, hold on. 
So the third one does have a bullet straight dead center in the back of it. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Right there on the ground is the bullet. So I think there's a hole in this one, the fourth one, but I don't think the bullet went in there. No, it didn't. There's no bullet in that one. So the bullet actually went through the third one, hit the fourth one hard enough to crack it. You can see the water's coming out of there and then was laying right there on the side. So there's the 300 wind mag. A little bit faster, a little bit more power. Bullet expanding faster, not going into the fourth jug, but bouncing off the fourth jug. But thanks for watching this video today, guys. The seven millimeter Remington Magnum versus the 300 Win Mag. Both of them some powerhouses, both of them Magnum calibers. A lot of people hunt elk with these and shoot long distance with these. And these 770s, hey, they're inexpensive rifles, but if you're looking for a Magnum caliber, it's probably one of the cheapest rifles you'll be able to get in either one of those calibers. I haven't had a single problem out of them. So, Remington 7070, Remington 7070, 7070. I can't talk today. Remington 770s, hey, they're good enough for me. They're good enough for you. But, pretty cool. The 7mm, we caught it in the fourth jug, and the 300 Win Mag bounced off the fourth jug so seven millimeter went a little bit further but they both expanded real good and definitely have a huge power dump in whatever you're trying to shoot elk deer what have you but a big thanks to heavy metal you guys go check them out and subscribe if you haven't already tell me if you have either of these which do you prefer have you hunted with them i always love hearing back from you guys but appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one who do?